there's a lot of people who I believe are out there who want to try to do something, but they have a lot of excuses as to why they can't. And I think for you, it could have been the same way. Like, oh, I, you know, people have been fighting their whole life. Like, I'm 24 or something like that. Like, why, like I can't start now. But what did you tell yourself? Like, like how did you, how did you like get yourself to go and believe in yourself to go do this and chase a dream at 24? When I think a lot of people would probably not go for it at that point in their life. For me, it's like, man, I know I'm called to do this. So having a deep sense of calling, whatever it, whatever it may be. I think this is maybe, I appreciate the question, by the way. Um, uh, yeah. I, th- I think this is the most important part of this interview, for me at least. It's like, when you know you're called to do something, you got to believe it. People are going to call you crazy. People are going to think you're insane. They're going to say, like, why do you trade this way? Why do you push yourself? Why would you leave this amazing accounting job when you're making maybe even more than six figures now? Why would you, all the opportunities you could have had, because everybody wants to compare you through their lens. And when you think that and you accept their lens, they're really kind of projecting themselves on you and you think that they're right because they speak maybe with what sounds like conviction, which is just really their doubt being projected onto you. I was never yeah. that way. I'm weird, right? Like I love surfing, I love motorcycles, I like I like, you know, farms, I love hip hop, I love jazz. Like I'm I'm I mean, I don't wanna be a conformist, but I wanna truly be a non conformist. Not trying to be, I just I'm just into what I love. Like I love church, I love fighting people, <laughs> you know, like I love what about? I love training, I love getting after, but I also really love business. And if I'm going to go for something, I'm going to go for it all the way. And I'm not going to ask people for their opinion to live my life, right? And when I was 24 years old and I knew I was called to fight, I said, okay, I'm going to give myself the absolute best. And I told my parents, I left the accounting job, and I said, hey, if I'm not in the UFC in two years, you know, from the time, because that's when I started, I said, if I'm not in the UFC in two years, I'll go back get my CPA and never look at fighting again. I'll train jiu-jitsu and boxing, and I'll be my hobby. I asked for that. So, you know, like I was willing to sacrifice and let things go. So you're going to have to lose people. You have to let people go. But sometimes God, like, less people are like, you got to let them walk away. And even too, like someone I've dealt with, you know, with relationships or something, like something wasn't healthy for me. And sometimes people think like healthy things grow, toxic things do too. And when I truly realized that I can be, love people, but I have to also love myself. And even if I care about somebody or something, I can still choose to let it go because I have to completely focus on what I'm called to do and where I need to be. And that, that alone really, really helped me grow. So like when you're wondering and you think you're too old and all that stuff and you got to accept the facts, like I accept the fact that everybody has more experience, but the effort, the work, the attention to detail, the focus, the obsession, the, the, the craziness that you have to accept about yourself and I've accepted accepted by myself and still wanted to dive deeper in. That's what I do. And uh, I know, like, with faith, with life, with my pursuit, and everything I went through, like, people were talking about this week, oh, you could have quit after the Buckley fight. Oh, you've been doing this for a little bit. You got to the UFC, pat yourself on the back. But because there's a challenge, you that does not mean it's the end. The challenge is probably like a comma or a period to that, to that time, but it doesn't mean the story is not, it's not still being written. And that's what I would attribute it to. You know, I have a great family who loves me. I had to prove to them and show them that like this is what I'm called to do and they challenged me to do better and now they're all in. And once you show people, right? And, and if and if their people aren't with you, they're not with you. That's okay. But I know that God called me to do this and I said even if like one of my favorites in Psalm 27 and part of it says even if your mother and father abandon you, mine have not, which I'm grateful for. But some people don't have the best family dynamic. But even if they let left me and they said we're not going to support you in fighting, I would have still pursued it because I know this is what I'm called to do. So when you when you have that deep vision inside you and that deep sense of purpose you 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 go for it no matter what and you'll have the right people along the way do it with honor do it with love and man like i'm here about to go claim this first world title victory i'm gonna train i'm gonna gonna ride the motorcycle after the fight ride it back home to north carolina from wherever i am spend time with my family for a couple days and then we get back to work the next week i'll be in the gym and i'll be in the lunas and getting better because it's like it doesn't stop if I can leave y'all with anything, right? Thank God we should get signal, you know, um, right? Yeah. It, it's that. Obsess so deeply that people might see you're crazy. And that's the ones who think you're crazy are the ones who haven't done it for themselves yet. And they look back on their lives. So if people see you as crazy and you're doing the same thing in them, you start advancing, and they're gonna, the people are going to have their opinions, whether they lead you, whether they're around you. But look at yourself and be like, what are they doing? Or what would they have, if they had your focus then, could they do it now? And I believe I'm gifted to fight. So maybe someone's gifted with music, caring about people, teaching children, 
protecting and serving, being a chef, like whatever that is for you that gets you going. You don't have to have something like I, I, I love fighting. I'm so grateful for the attention, like these interviews and this media. And I thank God I get to talk about it. Like I'm very, I'm very like I'm floored. You know, like when you reach out to me and you're like, hey, you want to talk? I'm like, you have to talk to me. Like, hey, like you, you sure you want to talk to me? Like, <laughs> are you sure you, you sure you want to talk to me? It's like, yeah, thanks. That means a lot, but it's also it's bigger than me. So like the kids that I train or the the, the clients that I work with in business, and the stories they get to tell. Like where I was last year, where I am now, I man. Like. I could have probably help, I could probably owned a few different parking spots, you know, to sleep in. Right, but <laughs> it's like I look on it now, like God is good, and if you have something burning deep inside, I don't care how old you are. Like I'm already thinking, like, what's the next business venture I could take over, and what's the next like, thing? So like for me, it's like motorcycle. I want to go all fifty states, you know, rebuild a bike, surf, travel, hunt, run, cultivate, build out a farm, right, and. Uh, you know, keep trusting like that God has much more for me. So that's what I can definitely tell y'all. I hope that that, if anything, like I appreciate the support from my fights, but I just want to see y'all. Like if I bump into you and you own your restaurant, I'm eating there one day. Hopefully you say hello. If you don't, I hope that this helps you with that because that's all, that's all it took. Like I, yeah, I don't, I don't stop, you know? Yeah. I love that. That's a good answer. And um, like it's hard. I think a lot of people want to chase something, but then, like I said, they like get overwhelmed with the reasons why they can't. But something I always think of too, like even doing this, you know, it's like obviously you got an area Hawaii out there. It's easy to be like, oh, I can't like do this too. But you got to, you just, for me, I just say like, you got to start where you start. You know, everyone's got their own starting point. And then the more consistent you are, the, you know, you're just going to become better than where you started from. But you, you have to be consistent 100%. and stuff. But that's my perspective. And yours, I think yours perspective is great too. Cause one thing you said is that um, like, sometimes you got to leave something to chase like your dream. So a lot of people also have a cushy life and they don't want to like sacrifice what right. they're going through at that moment for something greater. Yeah. hundred percent. That's so true that you said, like, I really agree with the consistency part too. Like, hey, got you back. Yeah, we're back now. Yeah, <laughs> finally. Oh, no, where were happened. we? Oh, no, I forget what? where we left off, but. We were to talk about like being consistent and you know going yeah. like, with the dreams and how like you know you can compare yourself to all these different people. You can compare yourself to like Errol Hawani, Joe Rogan. Compare yourself to John Jones out of sign. You can compare yourself to the billionaire next door. But I was looked at like churches, man. Like there's one church that touches people, and they have 20 members, or there's some that have hundreds of thousands. Like, yeah, you're doing your job, and like like com- when you compare yourself, it kills the content. Like you'd be so like, I wish I had this. I wish I had that. And it's funny enough when I like, when I looked, moved on the farm, it was cool because like I, now I learned like what I one of the biggest lessons I learned being on the farm is to keep things simple. Started saving and growing money, saving and growing money, and like I didn't have to be like, oh, I need this apartment. I'll catch up with this girl. What are we gonna do if I try to bring up somebody to the yurt and want to hang out? Like, I said, obviously, <laughs> gonna like me. You see my thing? Is this guy homeless? I'm like, no, I can have an apartment now. A few months ago, I probably couldn't have had an apartment, but. I'm very, very happy now. Like, and it's like, I'm just living my life as I choose. Like, but you start thinking, why compare yourself? Right. Like then I, that's, right. that's the thing I didn't worry about. That. I was like, man, I love where I am. And it got me time to like isolate myself and just dial in. And it's what I needed before going here. Cause now it's like interview, travel, this, like if I didn't have like that, I said, go take yourself back to the year in my mind, take yourself back to the farm and keep grinding, keep working. And then you can get a bigger farm, a bigger ranch thousands and thousands of acres but you can the day i am a multi-billionaire trainer all that stuff it doesn't mean it doesn't mean i can't go down to like the local burger spot and talk to people like they're people right and, and i'm grateful for that so, so don't compare yourself because sometimes like i think god's developing something in you that when you do make it when this when your show is all over the world that you can remember these moments but i think that's something yeah. that's given to you and you're at elevated amongst everybody and you're doing this at like an amazing studio at a high rise and and you own the whole building like maybe you don't have any perspective on like the new people coming in and can't connect so um I'm, I'm, I'm grateful yeah i think that is well said and also to add to what you said i think another way of saying it is like comparisons the thief of joy right so like That's true. you know yeah, yeah it yeah. takes away your, your happiness of like your little accomplishments if you're always comparing yourself to someone else so you just gotta be happy with your 
college. But I got to ask because you you put it out there. So uh, did you ever bring a girl back to the year? No, 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 no. <laughs> God is my witness. I never brought a girl to the year. I never brought anybody to the farm. <laughs> I'm just all right, all right, fair enough. <laughs> no, 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 not like that. Goodness gracious, that came off wrong. No, I, all right, all right. at that time I was like, I'm, I'm isolated myself. You know, I was, you know, interested for a while, and life was just like, you know, refiguring things out. So, I, <laughs> no, at that farm it was me, myself, and I. I just, I chilled. Sometimes they can catch like, up with you now in your in your new place. Right, they can come now, but it's like it's got to yeah. be the right person. It's got to be the right one. Right. So, <laughs> that's funny.